Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I'm here with a full face of first impressions or almost full face and almost first impressions. One of these products I've tried like once, but it doesn't count. So basically full, full face of first impressions. This is the final look. We are going to apply it all. We're going to do a wear test. We're going to see how it wears, what I like or what I don't like. So stay tuned. All right, so let's start with something that is not new um, because it's basically the only thing I didn't buy, which is a primer. So I'm just going in with my standard Hourglass Veil Primer. I'm just going to pop that all over. I'm like seven mirrors in here and the viewfinder <laughs> to try and be able to see what I'm doing. Alright, next thing we're going to do is obviously foundation. Where did I put it? It is hiding. Beautiful. The Natasha Denona Transform Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. This is what we're going to be going with and I'm just going to pop a couple of pumps. This is in the shade 5 and Fair. A couple of pumps on my little palette. And then I'm just going to use my L'Oreal sponge to blend that in. A really good colour match. I'm looking like I'm going really white on camera, but it actually matches me super well. It's not super full coverage. I'd say it's about a medium. Again, I am using a damp sponge though, so that would shear it out just a little bit. But it's evening my skin out nicely, but not making me feel kind of cakey, which I think is really good. As I said on camera, it looks like I'm going really white, but in person, this matches me like perfectly. Now, a little bit more. See if I can build up the coverage kind of around my nose and cheeks and then just finish off my forehead as well. So that definitely built up on my cheeks. Um, I don't have a pore filling primer on. I just have the Outglass which for me is not what I would consider a pore filling primer at all. But this is smoothing out Particularly my nose looks incredible. My cheeks are still a little bit pory, but for not putting a pore filling primer on, this is ridiculous. And my headband's falling off. My nose particularly just looks super smooth. I really like that. Now for concealer, we are going in with the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer in the shade Lace. I'm just going to use this on my under eyes. Again, blend that out with my sponge. I usually do put a colour corrector on before I put on concealer, but when I'm trying a new concealer I like to try it without the colour corrector to see if I can have what the coverage is like on its own. I do have one eye that has darker under eye circles than the other. This eye is always worse than this one. This eye I'd be happy with as is, this one I want a little bit more. And that's pretty normal for me to need a little bit more on my right eye because it's just... For some reason, it's darker than my left. And it blends in like perfectly with the foundation. I thought it might have been a little bit too dark to begin with, but it's... I don't like a super brightening concealer. I prefer something that matches me quite well. Okay. As I said, I'd probably still wear a corrector underneath this. But coverage wise, it's not bad. 
but I definitely feel like I'm going to need to set it because it's already starting to crease. So let's quickly get into powder so I can set these under eyes. We have the Glossier Wowder. And oh, very finely milled because powder's just gone up everywhere. And I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number no. 2 brush to set my under eyes, which I do all the time. This is one of my favourite brushes for this. And what I'll just quickly go back in with my sponge on one eye and then set and then do the same on the other. That did deepen it up just a little bit. This is in... I can't remember what shade it is, I'll check once I don't have the lid off it. But that did deepen up just a tiny bit under the eyes. Not too bad, again it still look quite nice. And that again could be that the concealer is actually slightly darker rather than the powder. And then I'm also going to use that powder just to set the whole face going in with an It Cosmetics Chic Powder Brush. That looks really nice. That is definitely something I would enjoy going out in. It's not tacky in any way. Very pretty. I like that a lot. Sorry, that was like covering the light. So yeah, the powder is in the Wowder. Sorry, the Wowder is in G11 to G12, which is like the fairest shade. But yeah, um, that's super finely milled. I have powder now all over my phone. So there's that. All right, I'm gonna throw on some lip balm, fill in my brows with pencil because I don't have any brow pencil in here, and then I'll come back and we'll move on to eyes. All right, so brows are mostly done, lip balm is on. Now we are just going to set the brows with the Glossier Boy Brow in the shade Blonde. This is how I normally do my brows anyway. I will fill them mostly with a pencil and then set them with a tinted brow gel, so. True test of this is really just going to be how it holds. Doesn't change my brow colour any, which is nice. So it's, yeah, really just going to be a test to see how it holds. So let's zoom in a little bit and get on the eyes and let's try out the KKW Classic Blossom Palette. Alright, so now we're focused in on the eyes. We're going to go into the KKW palette. I'm going to start with my Sigma E40. And I'm just going to go into the shade Baby, which is this kind of... Ooh, blind you. This one here. And just start that as a transition in the crease. definitely super pigmented way off the bat but it also is blending out really nicely as well That was super pigmented right off the bat and it blended out super nicely. Just gave it a really nice blown out transition look, which I quite enjoy. Um, so now going in with my Wayne Goss number six, I'm gonna go into Hanami, which is this one here. And just kind of pop that on the outer corner and blend it into the crease. Just 
This one's definitely not as pigmented, but still really pretty. Clean that up a little bit with the cream shade, just come a little bit in too much for my liking. I'm just going to finish doing this eye and then I'll do this eye off camera, I think. So, again, going back in with that Wayne Gloss brush into season which is the deep purple and I'm just going to do that just on the outer corner to do a tiny bit more definition but not too much back in with the Sigma just to buff and blend all those edges together. Alright, now I'm going to do lower lash line. And I'm basically just going to follow those colours in order that I did just apply them in. If I can find the brush I want. Starting with an uh, Sigma E25 in the first shade, Baby. Very rough. Blend all under the eye. Oh, dropped out of the camera there. Blend that all the way along. Going a little bit more precise with the brush that I want. Wayne Goss number five into Hanami which was that burgundy. Placing that right up on the lash line and then buffing it down. And then the purple season just on the edges. the lid. I think I'm going to go in with West which is this champagne colour. Yeah I like that. Um, I think I'm just going to keep going in with my finger. Yeah that's super pretty. Alright I'm going to do the same on the other eye and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm going to tight line with the L'Oreal Pro Last Eyeliner in Burgundy. I'm going to do my top and lower waterline. So let's just... It's definitely not giving as much colour as I thought it would. That looks a little bit better. So we'll see how that wears. And then for liquid liner, we are going to go in with the Joa I'm So Fly Liner Brush Tip Eyeliner. Super excited to try this. That is so smooth. It's definitely not perfect over the shimmers first go, 
but it's not difficult to go back over it. It's not like it skips. Super easy. That is super comparable application wise to the Kat Von D. So, sorry, KVD Vegan Beauty. If they don't change the formula. And the Fenty Fly Liner, and it's much more affordable. So, I'm just going to do a tiny little flick, I think. And that was super easy to do as well. So yeah, definitely, if this wears well, this may be a new holy grail because that was awesome. All right, lashes. This is where I'm scared. I'm gonna go in and curl them and then go in with the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. So let's hope this works well. All right, let's see how we go. I haven't even opened this. Alright, so it's a nice hourglass wand. So let's see. very natural I don't even think you can see it on camera let's try the other eye and then I'll put a second coat on and if not I'll just go in with my hourglass mascara to give me something So first coat, nice natural mascara. Let's see for second coat all. Still don't love it. I'm gonna go in with my hourglass just because, yeah, no, not loving it. All right, so here are my thoughts on the mascara. It was really good at lengthening and separating, and when I went over it with the hourglass to add volume, I really like the combination. So I don't love it on its own because I don't like just length and vol length and separation unless I'm going for something really natural. But as a layered mascara to add some length underneath my volumizing, I actually quite like it. That was quite nice. Alright, so let's zoom back out and do the rest of my face. Bronzer. We have the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade number one. So... Lots of people pop this in their favourites of 2019. So I'm going to go into this with a MAC 126 SE. That's the split fibre. Dust off the excess and... If 
feel like I need to put a little bit too much on the forehead. So let's just... But colour-wise, that is super pretty. And it's blending away nicely. Like, not blending away, but it's blending really nicely. Even when I've overdone it, so. Very nice, very nice. For blush, we are going into the Clinique Cheek Pop Blush Palette. I think this is like cool down. I'm gonna go into this one here, which is Heather Pop. So while I've used this formula of blush before, I haven't used this color, so. Let's. You know, these are quite pigmented, so I don't wanna, so I'm going in a Hakahodi something numbers rubbed off because I know this is super pigmented and this brush can just blend yeah oh, holy moly that's a lot of color build up slowly build up slowly Alright, and then for highlighter, we're going to go in to the MAC Postmodernist Peach Extra Dimension Skin Finish. So this is the highlight from the Loud and Clear collection. And it's super pretty. If I can... Ah, that would be why. So let's go into it on a Morphe... No, Real Techniques. Setting brush. And I'll use this on my inner corner as well. Very pretty. Very glowy. Not emphasizing any texture or pores. I don't have texture, I have pores. And that is what my highlight will usually. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's pop some of that on the inner corner. So pretty. Now I'll dab off the excess off my lips. And going to the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in Lead the Way. Let's pop this on. Oh, I like that a lot. Mm, I like this a lot. See how smooth to apply. It's got the nice point so you can define your lips. And even though it's matte, it's still got a smoothness to it, not a dryness. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I am loving this look so far. And finally, to set it all down, we are going to go in with the Tatcha Satin Skin Mist. Got to shake this one up real good. Yeah, I am loving how this looks. Let me go finish getting ready. I'll come back and give you my current thoughts and then I'll check in at the end of the day with my final thoughts. All right, so current thoughts. Foundation, first application, gorgeous. Concealer, slightly creasy under the eyes, but not too bad. Powder deepened up the concealer a little bit, but not too bad, again. Um, brow gel, let's just see how it stays in place. It's a brow gel. Eyeshadows applied and blended beautifully. Uh, pencil liner. I'm liking it more now that everything else is done. Um, but we'll see how it wears. Liquid liner was a dream to apply. And if it wears well, I have a new holy grail. Mascara. 
as I said, really nice layering. Nice for length and separation, but it didn't give me enough volume. But with the hourglass caution over the top, it looks fantastic. Bronze is a really pretty color, blended out nice. Blush is gorgeous, highlighter is nice. Lip, beautiful, soft, smooth application. Let's see how it wears. Um, and setting spray feels really nice. Um, we'll again, see how it wears. Um, I'm also going to use it to touch up throughout today since it's meant to help do touch up. So we'll do that. So we'll do a touch up with the toucher satin. We'll do a finishing video, like a final check in at the end of the night. And that will be it. All right. So it's the end of the night and this lighting is not great. There we go. Um, and this is what we're dealing with. Now I did have a nap today, which is why the foundation's come off my nose, but um, it definitely hasn't held up with my oils either. So, but I didn't, obviously it's summer, so it's hot. That's my sweatiest, oiliest time of year. So um, yeah, I would have normally put a mattifying primer or a mattifying powder on. So the world are probably not the best, but under the eyes, it's looking pretty nice. So I'd definitely probably be more of a winter powder for me because yeah, as you can see, quite shiny and I didn't end up touching up at all today because I had a nap instead. Um, eyeliner on the waterline, it's definitely faded, but again, I had a nap, so. Probably not the best day to wear test, but the liquid eyeliner held up through a nap. I think I have a new holy grail because this thing is freaking amazing. Mascara, same feelings as I did this morning. Brows stayed in place nicely. Cheek products are still there, so yeah, I'd probably treat the base a little bit differently, but otherwise I'm pretty happy with how everything wore, which is a nice feeling. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first, basically full face of first impressions. Um, as I said, I will link the haul down below where these products were featured, as well as obviously a lot of other products. So I hope you guys stick, check that out. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what other videos you'd like to see and click subscribe to stay tuned for more. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.